before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that root well and talk this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Waking up and teaching the hopeful elect. All right, should have won. This is the brother Zion Ma from GMS Detroit by Camp. Touch on another video dealing with um with uh Esau's MO, Esau's arterial motives, all right, concerning Iran. Right, he just recently had um Trump uh, uh administer a strike on Iran of the um the Iranian um general. All right, forget his name. I ain't gonna even try to. Well, let's, let's see if I can find it real quick. So I got in another article. Okay, here you go. Iranian Major General Qasim, Qasim Salam, Salamani. All right. So anyway, that guy. All right. He was uh, assassinated, if you will, by the U.S. military. All right. And um, the quick, the question, or the real question, or how should I say, it? like, what, what was the, um, what was the motive behind it? You know, why did uh, 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 Trump use the U.S. military, based what one day after the so-called New Year, at the top of the year? All right, have have this guy assassinated all right what what does he know or what what are they seeking for all right for them to uh to pull such a rash right um stunt like that all right because what the uh, u.s military all right uh acting upon the, uh, the iranians like that that's basically an act of war all right now if you don't know all right iran all right, has has uh, has backing by way of China and Russia. All right, pursuant to um, Ezekiel the 38th and 39th chapter, God can make God. All right, all right, Ethiopia and all that. But um, just read that on your own time. But but uh, basically, with the U.S. All right, acting upon. Iran, like I say, that's that's basically a prophecy. That's a prophecy, all right, leading up to World War Three. <laughs> all right, so what is the intent, or you know, what what did uh, the U.S. have to gain from pulling a stunt like that? Now I'm bringing this out because uh, the brother just had uh, touched on this at the end of camp. All right. And I said, well, let me do a video on it right quick. But um, but that was definitely in the back of my head. Like, okay, they did this, but all right, what's the real motive? And I know I Esau, all right? Basically, Esau's drive, all right? Concerning war is basically money, you know, or resources. It's something he's looking to gain, all right, for all the wickedness he does, always, all right? Esau doesn't he, he don't come up empty handed, alright? If if he's if he's uh, doing any type of mischief, alright? Wow. You should know that basically it's a um it's an arterial motive behind it all the time. That's the saying go in the world what they say, follow the money. Alright? So real quick, all right, let me get this, uh, you know, off of CNN.com for what it's worth. All right, but this is, it says, Iran has discovered an oil field with an estimated 53 billion barrels of crude. All right. All right, so <laughs> this is on CNN, so-called mainstream news. All right, and now this is going back a couple months back now. All right dated for uh, Sunday, November the 10th, 2019. So nonetheless, it's still fairly recent, all right? So when this came out, you think the American government, 
so-called American government didn't get catch wind of this, hell yeah, they heard. <laughs> Ain't know, know of this, all right? You know, they got, you know, CIA operatives and moles and whatnot that, that works in all these different countries. So they know all the little fine uh, findings and secrets that these, you know, uh, other countries, you know, um, got planned pretty much in a, in, a, in a nutshell. So, like I say, what Esau, what Esau's motive being money, you know, that's his driving force, right? He's going to do whatever it takes, all right, to, to, to reap, all right? To, to rob and rape and, and he'll hey, he'll rob rape and murder all right to, to to gain what he's looking for he basically covets things that that's not his all right he seeks to gain you know something that belongs to someone else all right and basically that's what happened all right with um the American government you know assassinating that um that Iranian general all right. Well, um, let's let's read through this article. All right. All right. It says a vast oil field containing an estimated 53 billion barrels of crude oil has been discovered in Iran. President Hassan Rouhani announced Sunday a fine that could boost the country's battered economy amid stringent U.S. sanctions. Okay. see right quick. I'm kind of just doing this on the fly. I just clicked on that U.S. sanctions. I just wanted to see what they would say about it. Alright. It says Trump announces hard hitting new sanctions against Iran. Just wanted to see what, what new sanctions that they have administered on um, Iran. But, but basically, that, that's the problem in itself. That, see, Esau, he doesn't keep at home. He's always somewhere else, all right, in somebody else's land, country, all right, telling them what they can and can't do, all right? And, and, and basically, if that, that country don't like it, all right, he administers war, all right? Because, hey, wait, <coughs> Esau's being blessing, being the sword, all right? That's what he's designed to do. He's designed to make war, all right? He's designed uh, to uh, to take to take what he wants, all right, by way of the sword, all right? That's all he knows, so that's what he does. But um, let me get back at, to the topic at hand. Um, like I said, this is how the apostle would say, the elder, elder apostle would say, putting this up raw. <coughs> but um, just to read on, it says the oil field in Southwest Iran stretches over over an area of twenty four hundred kilometers, right? Which is equivalent to about wow fourteen ninety one. Let's just say fifteen hundred square miles. Like imagine that it, it, you got some states here in um so-called America that's not even 1,500 square uh, square miles or 1,500 miles in, in any direction <laughs> you know so that's 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 amazing that's a lot of land and that's a lot of a lot of oil i.e. that's a lot of money alright um, you say in the Kazakhstan province and it's a and it's around 80 meters deep. Wow. Which is equivalent to 262 feet. Wow. That, I mean, man. Imagine that. that that's, that's, that's a lot of anything, let alone oil. That's a lot of water, let alone oil. You know? And whatever oil is going for, I'm sure that, that's a lot of money to be made. And yeah, that would pretty much put put the country back, back in... Um, get standing so to say you know what i'm saying it would boost the economy but hey what does esau do he gets wind of that and what is he you know like i say he covers fields you know he like he's 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 got to get his his um 
his tentacles, you know, on that oil. You know, because like I say, he has his hand everywhere. Any country that has anything, he's he's devising mischief. He's devising a plan on how he can uh, obtain it. All right. So I thought I wanted to get on that. I'm going to get a quick scripture. All right. This is uh, Micah 2 and 1. It says, woe to them that they, that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. God. Hey, what the scripture said, uh, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right. So basically Esau has the power. All right. To, to pretty much do whatever he will. You know what I'm saying? What, whatever he does. Hey, speaking of sanctions, know that it's sanctioned by the most high. The most high is putting Esau strings. The most high is basically allowing Esau to um, to entrap himself. You know what I'm saying? To, to set a snare for him on, his own self. You know, because in him making these rash decisions and, and um, you know, bombing all these different countries, <coughs> right? You just look back, you know, over the years, uh, him, uh, you know, the U.S. going into, uh, or I just say, uh, going into what, Libya, going into Afghanistan, going into uh, Iraq, you know, they, they took down, uh, what's the guy's name? Saddam Hussein took down uh, 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 what's his name Gaddafi in uh, what's that Libya I want to say took down um, uh, it's another official um, but not official but character um, Bin Laden, Osama Bin Laden. You know what I'm saying? And when, and when you look into the backstory, you know what I'm saying? It basically comes down to resources, whether it's weapons, whether it's, it's gold, whether it's oil. It, it, it's always something that Esau can stand to gain from it. All right? It's supporting the matter. All right? So it says, hey, that, that's an evil thing, you know? It says, woe to them that, that do that. Woe to them that devise iniquity. You know, it's, it's, it's iniquity to, to covet something, all right? To want something that doesn't belong to you, all right? Everyone it was, uh, is supposed to be dispensed their portion, all right? From the Heavenly Father, all right? But, but with Esau, all right? Basically with that God complex, he, he wants to gather everything unto himself, you know? <laughs> which is going to piss all these countries off in the process of time. They are going to retaliate on America. They're going to all join forces together and come against America, all right, using thermonuclear missiles, all right, which is uh, World War III, all right? That's how America's going to be laid down. It says, uh, and they covet fields and take them by violence. And houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. God. You know? So th this is hey, this is this is the MO, all right, of Esau. All right, what the scriptures say, uh like I say, you know, follow the money. The scriptures say basically uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. It's not the money itself, but it's the love of it. It's it's what you'll do to obtain it. You know what I'm saying? And shit, Esau, he don't pull no pe no punches, all right, to to uh, to get get his hands on anything he's seeking for, all right. That's why again we call you know uh, the white man, the Bible, or so like the white man, the devil, all right. That the Bible speaks of, because what the word "devil" meaning to deceive, right? Mean meaning to lie, speak a half truth, right? He'll say one thing on the news, but all in all, again, he has an ulterior motive. He'll say one thing, but he really has a, a whole nother intent, you know. 
right? They 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 took down this general because uh, let's read some some to the feel like they um, they felt they were threatened. I think one of the one of the embassies they felt was threatened by Iran. So this is why they had to take down the general. Like, I mean, quiet is kept. They just put someone in his place. You know what I'm saying? So th th that really that that was just a foolish move. You know what I'm saying? That, but that's just Esau trying to flex, trying to show his might, trying to show his power. All right. But again, like I say, all these nations, all right, they see that, right? All the nations are watching, watching, and basically, uh, Esau he didn't really put himself out there now. Right now, now he's showing himself to be the devil. All right, he's showing himself to be Satan. He's showing himself to be a problem, you know. And what do you do with problems? You get rid of problems. Don't no one want to deal with problems, you know what I'm saying? You find a way to, to get that problem, you know, uh, from a monster, All right? And again, that's by way of the missiles, All right? That's how these nations are going to solve their problem. All right, the Lord is going to use these other nations to shoot missiles on America, right? So it can be burned with fire. And so Esau can be basically uh, put down, be put 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 out of, put out of his might, you know. So that's really all I had with that, you know. I just thought that was interesting dealing with this article, you know. That's that's a lot of oil, i.e., like I say, a lot of money. So uh, with that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh by Shem Rakakwadash. The bottoms to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shut on.